Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got these uh, two circles of different dimensions put together as you can see in this given diagram, such that the center of this uh, small circle is uh, D, whereas the center for uh, the large circle is uh, C. And moreover, uh, the area of this uh, small circle has been given to us as by centimeter square. The area of this uh, large uh, circle has been given to us as 4 times pi centimeter square. And the distance between uh, these two centers uh, is uh, 4 centimeter. And furthermore, uh, this segment uh, AB is uh, tangent to both of these uh, circles at point uh, A and point B respectively. And now our task is to find the length of this segment AB. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We can see that we have been given the area of both of these circles. So now we are going to calculate the radii of both of these circles. I'm going to label the radius of this uh, small circle as uh, lowercase r and the radius uh, of this uh, large circle as uppercase r. Now our task is to find the value of lowercase r and the value of uh, uppercase r as well. And now we are going to focus on this uh, small circle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area is always equal to pi r square where lowercase r is the radius of this uh, small circle. And here we can see we have been given the area of this uh, small circle as pi. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So we got the area pi is going to be equal to pi times uh, r square. And now I'm going to divide uh, both sides uh, by pi. So we could see that this uh, pi and pi is gone. Likewise, this pi and pi is gone as well. So therefore, uh, radius uh, lowercase r square turns out to be equal to 1. And now I'm going to undo this square by taking uh, the square root on both uh, sides. So therefore, we could see that our radius uh, lowercase r value simply turns out to be positive 1 centimeter. So therefore, our radius lowercase r value turns out to be equal to 1. And now we are going to focus on this uh, big circle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula once again. Area equals to pi r square, where uppercase r is the radius uh, of this uh, big circle. And the area of this uh, big circle has been given to us as 4 times pi centimeter square. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula. So we got uh, the area 4 times uh, pi is going to be equal to pi times uppercase r square. And now I'm going to divide both sides uh, by pi. And here we can see this pi and pi is gone. Likewise, this pi and pi is gone as well. So therefore, uppercase r square value turns out to be 4. And now I'm going to undo this square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides. So therefore, our uppercase r radius value turns out to be positive 2 centimeter. So therefore our uppercase r radius value turns out to be positive 2 centimeter. And in this uh, next step I am going to connect uh, these points uh, D and A and likewise I am going to connect uh, these points uh, B and C as well. As you can see in this uh, next step and now we can see that this uh, dA is the radius uh, lowercase r. So the radius lowercase r equals to 1. So the radius of this uh, small circle turns out to be 1 centimeter. And now we can see this uh, BC is the radius of this uh, big circle. And the radius uh, uppercase r equals to 2. So therefore, the radius of this big circle turns out to be 2 centimeter. And now let's recall the circle theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will uh, always be exactly 90 degrees. 
So no wonder this angle has got to be a 90 degrees angle and likewise this angle is 90 degrees as well. Since uh, these are our radii and AB is the tangent line. And now we are going to think outside the box to make our job simple. So therefore we are going to draw some auxiliary lines. As you can see in this uh, next step. And here I have shifted uh, this uh, AB segment uh, all the way to this uh, CE. And likewise uh, this segment uh, BC all the way to AE. If this uh, BC length uh, is uh, 2 cm, then this uh, AE length has got to be 2 cm as well. And if I label uh, this uh, segment uh, AB as uh, X, then this uh, segment uh, CE length is going to be X as well. And finally, let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, whole uh, DE length is going to be 1 plus 2 is going to make 3 centimeter. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, CED whose uh, side lengths are uh, 3 units. X uh, over here. And the high party news uh, CD is uh, 4 centimeter. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle. And here is our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. In our case our hypotenuse is 4 whereas our two other legs are 3 and x. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, x square plus uh, 3 square is going to be equal to 4 square. Let's simplify. So this is going to give us x square plus 9 equal to 16. And now I'm going to subtract 9 from both sides. So therefore this 9 and negative 9 is gone. x square turns out to be equal to 7. And now I'm going to undo this square by taking square root on both sides. So therefore our x value turns out to be equal to positive square root of 7 centimeter and we know that our this uh, AB segment length is being represented by x so therefore we conclude that our AB segment length turns out to be equal to positive square root of 7 centimeter so thus after all the calculations and manipulations our segment uh, AB length turns out to be square root of 7 centimeter and that is going to be approximately equal to 2.646 centimeter as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye